Right, we've got a Mark 7 Transit. We're going to change the rear discs and pads. First thing we need to do, crack the wheel nuts, jack it up, support it with an axle stand and take the wheel off. Then you're left with this. Now you need to undo these star drives, which is a T50. Five of them. These are, I've already cracked these because I'm trying to hold the camera at the same time. Undo all five. Then undo the middle nut. That one there, which is a 36 mil. Yeah, we're just going to use a buzz gun. It's a lot quicker for us. So just undo all five of these. Keep them safe because you're going to need them again after. When it comes to pushing the piston back in the caliper, you need a special tool for this. If you're doing the driver's side, you need to wind it clockwise. And when you come to do the passenger side, you need to use the other thread, which is should have on the other tool, and do it anti-clockwise to wind it in. Right, now you've got the hub nut off there. You need to undo the caliper bolts, which are these here. These are 13. That one and the one at the bottom. Then the whole front of that caliper will come off. Just like that. Now you can remove your pads. These ones still have a lot of meat left on them. Which is, uh, yeah, there's quite a bit left on there, really. And then you've got to take the actual caliper cradle off which is going to be these two bolts here, which are 15s, one at the top, one at the bottom. Right, that's going to come off there then. Then you're going to be left with this. But here is the actual carrier. Now these bits should move up and down like this. And these are actually seized in there, these two. So we're going to squirt some oil in there in a minute, get them out, give them a good old clean up, re-grease them and pop them back in. I'm just going to put some oil in there just to let them soak. Right, now when it comes to getting this off, hit it at the back with a uh, heavy hammer, then it's off. Mind that, because that's your ABS sensor. And just give it all a good clean up. And here's the ABS ring. So just give it a good old clean up around there with a wire brush. And get ready for some fresh grease to put on there. Now you have to hit this quite hard with the hammer to try and split it. So you can see where it's going to be split, which is about just between them two, that, that was split apart. Okay, which I've already done. I'm gonna put a little bit of grease here and around there, just to make your life a bit easier when it comes to removing again, if we have to. I'll put it all back together, buzz gun the little uh, T50s up, and popped it back on here. Don't forget to put this washer back on the hub nut. It's a certain way it goes, there's like a little groove there. It goes that way. And you can do that up nice and tight. Use your 36 mil socket. Right, before you put the nut on, give it a little squirt of some WD-40 or any other oil that you've got lying around. Give it a good old soak. Then wind your nut on there. Okay, nice and tight. Now here's the um, the carrier. We've pulled out these um, sliders. This is a rubber bit that's on the end of one of them. So make sure it's all nice and clean to slide back on there with a little bit of grease. It is a bit of a nightmare to get back in there, but we managed to do it. So we're just going to show you, and let me just put the camera down for a minute. You know, this is what you should be left with like this. So, so it slides in and out nice and easy. Okay, that's what you need to do. Plenty of grease, a lot of oil, so it moves smoothly. Here's the other side, just like that. Now pop it back on your hub. Don't forget these back nuts are 15 mil. Nice and tight. You can put a bit of a little Loctite on there if you wish. And this is the tool that you need to wind the pistons back in with. Don't forget driver's side, turn it clockwise, passenger anti-clockwise. Then just grease up your pads so it moves around nice and easy and stops them squeaking. Now that's the piston there that we just wound back. It's back far enough to go over the new discs and pads. So you've got to wind it all the way in. Remember to remove the uh, reservoir cap. Makes it a lot easier. Okay, then just check all the nuts you've done, nice and tight. And uh, push your foot on the brake a few times, then spin the disc to make sure it's everything's okay.